Hey, it's Frank here from NeverColdCall.com, and I'm just doing a quick impromptu video. I uh, didn't set up the whole video camera studio and all that. I am in my personal office in front of my whiteboard shooting on my iPhone, so hopefully you all can hear and see this okay. And I already know what everyone's thinking. Frank has hair. Yes, I grew it out after two winters in Dallas, which are a lot colder than my family up north in New Jersey seems to think. I decided I need hair. I like it. I feel better. I hate going to the barber shop. It's a pain in the ass. That's another story. Uh, the reason I'm here today is because I had sent out this free report on uh, referral selling, or we can call it a white paper if you want to be corporate about it. And I want to go through some of the key points in it. And the reason I did this report, first of all, of course, I sent an email out to my subscribers and said, write back if you want uh, some comprehensive info on referral selling, why you need to be doing it, and how to do it, most specifically. Uh, and the really important thing I wanted to put in here were case studies and example of people who are succeeding by referral selling because we can go all the way back to that story about the four minute mile, nobody could do it, it was impossible, then Roger Bannister did it, and boom, like that, everybody was able, well not everybody, but pro runners and pro athletes were able to run four minute miles just because they had seen somebody else do it. And I had experience recently with a friend who has a hundred million dollar business, and he, we were talking about what direction I'm gonna take Never Cold Call, and he nonchalantly said, just build it into a hundred dollar, hundred million dollar seminar business, and I said, why not? because seeing a friend do it makes it a lot easier to do it. So what I want to show you in this free report, and if you don't have this yet, if you haven't downloaded this white paper, go to the link on this page and download it because it will change your mindset about referral selling. So why referrals? In Never Cold Call Again, I teach so many methods, so many uh, techniques. I do a heavy focus on internet marketing, marketing online, particularly LinkedIn and social media. But like I say, LinkedIn is not really a social media site. It's a business networking site, which at the end of the day means it's a referral selling site. And so referrals are the best leads in the world. Uh, this is undisputed. If you get a referral, chances are you're gonna be able to close that deal. Bear with me here, because I got my water bottle after too much caffeine this morning. Now here's the deal with referrals. When I started out, as you know, I struggled, I failed, I went from job to job, I kept getting fired uh, because I was cold calling because that's all I knew how to do. Then I started learning techniques, strategies, methods to get leads without cold calling. Well, eventually I got to the point where all I did was sell by referral. And I wasn't working referrals anymore. It got to the point where it was a self-perpetuating cycle. And I think I talked about that either in one of my emails or maybe I put it in this report when I typed it up this week. Um, but the bottom line is that you get a referral, you make them a satisfied customer, you ask for referrals, they'll give you new customers, you ask them for referrals. It gets to the point where the referrals just keep on coming in. Uh, and I even got some strategic referral partners, as I write about in the Never Cold, Never Cold Call Again book. Uh, and it got to the point where I'd get a phone call at 10 a.m. and one of my referral partners said, we have a lunch meeting at noon, I'd show up at noon, I'd come back to the office at 1.30 with a signed contract and a check. Uh, for a large sale that most of the reps took weeks or even months to go through a sales cycle. So that's how powerful referral selling is. So I'm going to go through some of the key points in this report. I know m most people are like me. I'm the kind of guy, I download a 10-page white paper and I don't read it because I've got so much on my plate. I've got uh, things I could do to make money. If, if I pan this camera around my private office here, I, I know you can see one here, but there are does the, the walls are literally just covered in pages from this uh, post-it whiteboard with ideas and projects that I'm working on. So it, it's, I'm not a big fan of downloading white papers and reading them. So if you're like me, I'm going to go through some key points here. I've got my king size sharpie, so hopefully you can see this. Uh, the first one, I'm not going to write this down because. Uh, there are quite a few financial advisors who subscribe to Never Cold Call Again, but most of you are not. So I just wanted to point this one out. And the reason I bring it up, I talked about in a recent email that I'm sick of networking events. I belong to one mastermind group that's invitation only, and I belong to my Rotary Club, uh, which is not even a networking group, even it's a service organization, but networking happens there, and members like to do business with other members, but I digress. The reason I stopped going to networking groups is I'm sick of being stalked by financial advisors. So the first problem is they say, Frank's a New York Times bestselling author. Well, I hate to say it, but a book is a pretty crappy product. A book has to be backed up by a business like NeverColdCall.com. There's no money in books, trust me, especially nowadays that publishers are broke. Um, and so I get stuck. I go to a networking event, I go to a chamber mixer. For the next month, I'm dodging calls from half a dozen financial advisors who want to set an appointment with me. Well, like I say in this report, there is a statistic here, and this was reported by Investors Business Daily, that 
45%, more than 45% of clients found their primary financial advisor through a trusted referral from a close friend or colleague. That's important for two reasons. One, you've got to be working referrals because that's where you're going to get your best clients. Two, notice it said primary financial advisor. So if you're a financial advisor and someone says you're already working with someone, you can still get in the door and get a percentage of that person, a very small percentage uh, of that person's uh, investable dollars or their wealth and work it. So I want to throw that out there. Um, we get into some of the more impressive statistics here. Uh, this one, this is the one that blew me away. So customers who were surveyed, and these are both B2C and B2B, uh, there's about a 50-50 split of my never cold call customers who were B2C sales reps versus B2B. Um, so here's the biggie. I'm going to write this down. 70 to 80% of customers will give referrals. So 70 to 80% of customers will give you a referral if you ask for it. So that's a big deal. The problem is that less than 15% of salespeople will ask for a referral. So what's wrong with this picture here? Nearly four out of five customers will give you a referral, but less than 15%. That's not much over one in 10 salespeople will ask for a referral. So the first problem is you've got to be asking for referrals. The second problem is you've got to do it properly. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. The old school sales books talk about uh, at the end of a sale, ask the customer to give you five names of colleagues that you can call. Well, at this point, you haven't proven yourself yet. You haven't shown that you can deliver. You haven't lived up to your customer service promises. And so you've got to do it properly. I've seen some really old school sales books, some of the 1980s books that are really brazen, and they say uh, after you close a sale to have the new customer actually call five people and make introductions right there on the phone. Well, if you do that nowadays, you're going to get kicked out of the office, and they may even cancel their order with you because they're still in that period where they can. You haven't gone and cashed your check yet. And so it's very important to know how to get referrals properly, but this statistic, uh, 70 to 80% of customers will happily give you referrals to other customers, but only 15% of salespeople ask, and of those 15%, a lot of them are not doing it properly, and so the referrals are not getting passed around. Another great one, uh, and this comes from iMedia Connection, by the way, these statistics, is that compensation is a huge motivator. That's where affiliate programs came from. Uh, Amazon.com is the largest affiliate site in the world. If you buy one of my published books through a link I send you, guess what? I'm sending you an affiliate link, and on top of the you know, lousy $1.50 or so that the publisher pays me, I get another dollar through my affiliate link. Uh, and so in the Never Cold Call Again system, I talk about how I built... 100% referral, zero need to prospect, all doing it through uh, getting referrals and then doing compensation, giving someone 10, 15, 20% of the commission I made on that sale. Uh, Salesforce.com, very, very impressive statistic here that uh, you're usually going to convert referral leads into customers more than 70% of the time. So more than two out of three referrals will equal sales. Two out of three. And then later on in this report, there was this, uh, two different sources. One was uh, site called Continuity Programs, and one came from Tom Hopkins itself, both confirming that leads from cold calling convert at a rate of less than 10%. So referrals, two out of three, that's 67%. Uh, actually, the statistic was 70%, so it's even more than two out of three. Uh, will convert to sales versus less than 10% of leads generated from cold calling. So that's a big, big difference. And again, it's a, uh, a matter of asking for referrals, knowing how to ask for referrals, which is a huge skill set all by itself. And then Salesforce goes on to say these two out of three uh, referrals that turn into sales, they give you more referrals. Two out of three of those turn into customers. Those new customers give you referrals. Two out of three of those turn into new customers. So you can see where this really builds exponentially and turns into a major snowball effect uh, to the point where you never have to prospect again, which is the situation that I was in. I did no prospecting, practically no selling either, because the referrals were predisposed, pre-sold by the people who sent them for me to sign on the dotted line, write a check, and give me a sale. See, so yeah, I went through those from continuity.com. Um, 
This is an interesting one from National Association of Home Builders. More than half of clients who uh, either buy a house from a real estate agent, get a house remodeled, or have a new custom home built, more than half come from referrals. So I don't see it so much here in Dallas, I'm looking out across the street at Texas Instruments campus, which is kind of fun since I'm a fan of Paul to Catch Fire and part of that takes place at TI. Um, but in Dallas, since it's an older city, you don't see it as much. But when I lived in high growth cities like Phoenix and uh, San Antonio, you saw the signs all over the place for home builders and uh, come see our model homes and TV commercials and radio commercials galore. But yet more than half the people who buy those homes do it by referral. Either a referral to the home builder, a referral to the real estate agent representing that home builder, a referral to the mortgage broker who works with that home builder, whatever the case might be, but more than half of these sales are coming from referrals. They're not coming from advertising, they're not coming from cold calling, they're coming from referrals. Uh, let's see, from clientwise.com, more than 71% of new assets for the top performing financial advisors come from referrals. Now notice I said top performing financial advisors. The ones who are not performing well, the ones who are not performing well, are not getting 71% of their business from referrals. In fact, they're not getting much business at all. They're the ones who are going to chamber mixers and meetup groups and stalking me and you and probably everyone else they meet for the next six months trying to get an appointment. Yet 71% of the financial advisors who are making the big money are getting their business from referrals. Uh, let's see, I don't want to go waste too much of your time here. Uh, LinkedIn adds 172,000 new members per day. That's equal to adding the entire population of New York City every seven weeks. So the population of the largest city in America every seven weeks is being added to LinkedIn. Uh, so that goes back to the importance of LinkedIn. If you don't have my LinkedIn training, get it next time I make it available. Um, I release that for one week at a time so I don't have too many people out there using the same techniques. Um, but it goes back to showing that LinkedIn is a business networking slash referral selling website and 172,000 new members a day are joining it. Um, let's see. This is more about financial advisors. I don't want to talk about them too much, uh, but again, it talks about referral selling. Uh, online marketing, websites, nevercoldcall.com. Every day I look at my traffic stats and I see people who find me through Google, Bing, Yahoo, Google AdWords, LinkedIn ads, LinkedIn natural, LinkedIn organic. But there's always a huge, huge chunk, about half of the traffic that comes to the website every day is people who open up their browser and literally type in nevercoldcall.com and I never understood why. I thought there was something was broken in my tracking software and it wasn't picking up where those people are coming from until I did the research or had the research done by my assistant Kristen to get this white paper done. 70% of all internet users visit new websites because someone told them about it. It's referrals, it's word of mouth. That means 70%, all, the, all these, I'm um, pointing to my monitor here, you can't see it, I'm pointing over to my desk. But when I see all those unknown sources coming to nevercoldcall.com and signing up for my email list and buying my product for $97, it's word of mouth, it's referrals. And being in business for over 11 years, it keeps growing and growing and growing. And that's why I see more and more of these unknown sources of traffic. Uh, and this is from uh, Valero and they say, or this is reported by Valero, but a recent survey by Jupiter Media Metrics, 70% of all internet users visit new websites by referrals, by word of mouth. So even the internet marketing world is getting away from SEO and Google AdWords and social media marketing and all this. It's happening by word of mouth. Uh, let's see, the Baylor University study, I don't have to tell you about that. Um, I've talked about that a lot, but the part that I didn't mention in all the articles and emails I've written about how Baylor just crushed cold calling is that referral selling uh, was one of the top two most productive lead generation activities. Uh, in the one particular study this refers to is with real estate agents, and of course I already talked about that in the study about home builders and real estate agents. Uh, HubSpot did a survey, 71% of consumers are most likely to make a purchase through referrals. Business Week, uh, the top three ways company generated new leads over the past two years. Number one, referrals from existing clients or uh, partners. Number two was just general referrals, word of mouth, somebody who isn't a customer, customer but did recommend them anyway. Um, here's one of my favorites. This one is from Tom Hopkins. Uh, I mentioned in a recent email, I like Tom Hopkins. I like his books. I love his book, uh, The Official Guide to Success. 
which I had in the 1990s. It was sort of my Bible when I was in sales trying to work my way up. And I just rediscovered it and I have it on my Kindle now along with all my other books. Um, but this survey goes to show that, uh, according to Tom Hopkins anyway, the closing or conversion rate on referral leads is 60%. So he's giving a number slightly lower than the 70% everyone else comes up with compared to less than 10% on non-referral leads. So earlier, I showed some statistics showing that cold calling leads convert at less than 10%. Well, Tom Hopkins is saying every lead that is not a referral closes at only 10%, one in 10. While referral leads close at better than 60%, six out of 10. So that's a big, big difference. And it's not just comparing referrals to cold calling, it's comparing referrals to every other kind of lead out there. So it's a really, really interesting difference. Uh, Buffini, I think his name is Brian Buffini, the real estate sales trainer, he's a pretty famous guy. 82% of all real estate transactions come from either referrals or repeat business. So that's a big number. I'm not gonna go through all of his, uh, rest of his stats, um, but it's pretty compelling evidence. And then this final one comes from a publication uh, trade journal called Journal of Marketing. And they did a study on a leading German bank. They tracked the uh, 10,000 customers of this German bank for three years. And what they found is that Customers who came by referral number one uh, spent more money. That's the best thing out there because more money means bigger sale, bigger commission check for you. Uh, so number two, they have a higher retention rate, so they're more loyal customers. They continue buying from you. And number three, they're more valuable in both the short run and the long term. So the bottom line of that survey uh, or that study that was done on 10,000 customers, not only uh, are referrals easier to sell, but they spend more money they're more loyal and they're worth more in both the short term and the long term. So if you don't have this report yet, go on the link on this page and download it. Uh, the bottom line is that it includes a ton of industries, everything from selling cars, uh, B2B sales, technology sales, uh, consumer sales such as real estate, uh, car sales is another consumer sales example, uh, banking, even the franchise business. Bottom line is referrals are it. If you can get referrals, you don't have to do anything else, especially if you follow a system. If you have a planned out sort of pre-programmed system to build a referral selling network like I did to the point where not only was I not prospecting at all and get a, getting 100% of my sales and referrals, but I didn't even have to work anything anymore. I'd get the phone call in the mid-morning to come to lunch and I'd show up in the uh, office in the afternoon with a signed contract and a check and be at 100, 150% of my number by the end of the first week of every month. You can do that too, but you've got to know how. So in the next video that um, I'll get to in the next couple of days and get out to you, I'll go into more detail on not just referral selling, but how to do it properly and how to build it into a system and even a network of referral partners that can get you to that point that I was at and that so many of the other great uh, top producing sales pros are at. Uh, if you don't have this report, again, go grab it on this page. I'm also gonna be doing a free webinar in a week uh, to go through a presentation showing you some more advanced networking strategies and things that you can use uh, to really just, not just eliminate cold calling. When I started nevercoldcall.com uh, well over a decade ago, it was to eliminate cold calling. And now I think we're at the point uh, referral selling has progressed. Guys like me and others, Jeffrey Gittimer, have figured this stuff out. There's so many case studies and examples in this report. You've got tools like LinkedIn that didn't exist a decade ago. So you don't can not only just eliminate cold calling anymore, we're at a point in technology and in progress in the sales profession where you can eliminate prospecting entirely and just close deals all day long. So stay tuned, look for the next video. If you don't have the report, go ahead and grab it, get it into your inbox right now, and I'll talk to you in a few days.